Ready? Are you here? Hello? This is Edward Harden. Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. That bell still bothers me. Ja, damit herzlich willkommen hier zurück in der Kirche. Äh, letztes Mal hat er die Glocke hier geglock und so. Und das ist ein Seil. What's this rope for? A bell. Mhm. Glocke. This is the bell we heard ringing? Don't see any other bells. So you have to stand here and pull this rope to ring it. Yes. There was no one here. You didn't see anyone, right? No, no one. Ghosts. I'm telling you, it's ghosts. <laughs> so what happened to the hunchback of Grobic? They must be here still. There's only the one exit. Maybe it was the wind. The church bell's too heavy. It can't have been the wind. I mean. Ne, das war nicht der Wind. das Monster. Denn ich glaube auch in der letzten Folge, da haben wir herausgefunden, dass es halt Ja, vielleicht finden wir noch ihre Unterhose. <lacht> Hut, Handschuhe, den Schal, wer weiß. Vielleicht gibt es noch die Hose oder Jacke. Also, vielleicht sind ja alle Bewohner hier aus dem Dorf abgehauen, weil die Angst vor das Monster haben. Vielleicht war ja hier so ein Monster, was wir ja letztes Mal in dem Buch da kennengelernt haben, dass es angeblich ein Monster geben soll. Aber wer weiß das schon. Außer vielleicht die Bewohner, die hier leben. Oder gelebt haben. The church book. A record of births and deaths. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And uh, Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead. Her name would be in the book. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. <laughs> We need to find all the pages. How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. Things. 
Most folks aren't heathens, like you. What are you doing? We're in a church. I thought you didn't believe in God. I do believe in civility. The missing pages must be here somewhere. Yeah. I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Old English? I happen to know the verse by heart. You still manage to surprise me sometimes. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a contradiction. Heretic. They considered this a secret place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation. And anger. Hmm. Seite. Ich mache es mal hier. What's that? The last sermon that was held. What does it say? Uh, the vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher in the language. Uh, he talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive, and move on. Something to the effect of you sit in separate aisles in God's house. Like Ruth's drawing. I told you, she was perceptive. something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed and that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. Tilly Verandra. Edward? Forgive each other. It addresses Johann and Frederick directly. But I wonder if they were even here. Remember the wedding picture? They were close friends once. How could they allow their grudge to escalate until... <sighs> you call each other traitors. But the only thing you've betrayed are the bonds that unite us. Two for two. Good job, Teddy. Stop, Lissy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Of oh, horse feathers. Stop being so gosh darn tedious, Edward. Betty, 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 will you ever shut up about your precious Betty? Put those pages back in the book, and I'll stop trying to cheer you up.
this book goes back years. It lists births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in the cave-in. Someone added the word for Banelson probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but other deaths in the last 20 years. Ruth's drawing and the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. Look here. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh, that's dreadful. He drowned. The day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. See what's scribbled next to it? Mord? Murder. Who killed him? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? It doesn't say. After the children, a half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. It's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. Primitive superstition. But something changed after Ruth and Simon. It might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? What does that word say? Next to those names at the bottom. For... For a... Dar Traitor. Edward? What's wrong? The final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice. What if... Oh, Edward, no. Betty. It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead. She can't be. I'd know. I'd know. Teddy. I need to see the grave for myself. It's not Betty. Betty's still alive. I must find that grave. Teddy? Where are you going? Don't leave me! Edward! You better not be here, Betty. I'll never forgive you. Hmm. Where is it? This one. It's unmarked. That can ja alles bedeuten. What are you doing? Have you gone completely mad? Ein Geist? 
Details oder träumt er das oder die kann sich doch nicht normalerweise in Luft auflösen. Das ist merkwürdig. Ich glaube, der Typ ist verrückt geworden und träumt das irgendwie oder so. Hier geht es auch nicht weiter. Vielleicht noch mal rein. Ist es hier nichts? Hm. Merkwürdig. Ne? Okay, habe keinen Hinweis, wo ich hin soll. Vielleicht nach Hause, also in das Haus rein. Soll man davon halten? Please talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet, your little plaything? Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden. I never should have come here with you on this pointless chase. Now, be reasonable. Lizzie? <laughs> Alice, what are you doing? What I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate this. Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no. What? No. Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. Don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have. And we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. Do not forget. No, I... Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. Hmm. Das 
Tag 4. Wake up, Edward. Stop hiding. Without us, you are nothing. You cannot hide from us. Where's Lissy? Alice is not here. Bring her back. Please. I need her to... Alice does not love Elizabeth like you do. She loves me. Not like I do, Edward. I'm so tired. Please. of you so often. You have no idea. You just want me to forgive you so that we can keep looking for your precious, perfect Betty. She needs us. <laughs> she never needed you, Teddy Bear. And she certainly doesn't need us. I can't find her on my own. It's just too bad, my darling Edward. Because we're done playing second fiddle to little sis. Wait, don't go. I I I'm, I'm talking to... To you. Lissy. Oh. Hmm. Lissy? Lissy? Please. Listen. Lissy? Vanishing on me. Why are you so angry? You do not know anger, Edward. Did you ever meet my father? Alice does not want to speak with you. Then what about you? Are you going to help me? God helps those who help themselves. I don't need God's help. I need Lissy. Do you, though? Did you ever? What? Of course, I... Ah, merkwürdig. Ganz, ganz merkwürdig. Bin ich nicht hier bei Super Netterall. Es regnet. Gut, dann gehen wir wieder rein. Hier sie jetzt nicht.
Ah, let's see. I'm tired of chasing you. I'm trying to talk to you. Alice, be reasonable. Lissy, look. Her jacket. I'm sure it wasn't here yesterday, Jesus which means Christ, Betty was Teddy. here. Perhaps when we were out yesterday. She, Betty, she Be Betty, 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 Betty. You love Betty more than you love us. But don't you see? What has Betty done? That we haven't. What can she do that we cannot? We've always been there for you. Why do you keep looking for her? She's real. You're not. So? What? You decide what is real. We are real to you. We'll never be the same. She does not want you. Who are you talking about? Why do you think Betty left? She was sick and tired of us. She wanted to escape. Like mother. Drowning herself because she couldn't stand being around us. Like father. Ben, right in the coconut. Stop. You drive them all away, Edward. All into death. But not us. We're always here for you. I beg you. You are never alone. Stop! Leave me alone, both of you. You want to be alone? You really want to be alone? Fine. You're alone. For good. Okay. Listen. Wie es weitergeht, sehen wir in der nächsten Folge. Ich hoffe mal, dann ist es nicht zu spät. Bis dahin, mach's gut und bye bye.